Police don't always have an easy job, but it doesn't excuse behaviour like this. Two officers caught on their own body camera belittling a young woman and her mother-in-law. You have to be the most stupidest person I've met as a driver of a motor vehicle. With a it was a routine traffic stop that was far from routine. We're in pursuit with you because you would not stop. Produce your driver's licence, driver. Sorry, I, I, I wasn't sure. You've lost your licence. Two police officers, two Afghan license. women. I'm sorry, I didn't actually know. You looked in the rear vision mirror no less than four times. I wasn't sure. What is this vehicle behind you? It's a police, but I wasn't sure. I'm really actually not sure. And by the mother? sound of it, they could have been the most wanted. Don't argue with me, love, or you'd be going back in the paddy wagon as an accessory to bloody murder. Now the Law Enforcement Conduct Commission has found the cops engaged in serious misconduct, caught on their own body-worn video no camera. Where's her wallet? I don't care where your home is. At this stage, you're under arrest for driving in a negligent manner. Do you understand that? Hop out of the car. Whack the cuffs on her. The driver was a 24-year-old woman. Her passenger, her mother-in-law. They came under notice for failing to indicate when leaving a roundabout in Sydney's west. See? ID. She's on temporary visa. Oh, so she's committed offences whilst on a temporary visa? Yep. Aid and a bet. After an investigation, the Commission found the driver had no criminal history, is a student and works to finance her studies and support her family. Have you got ID? No, she's so cheap to smoke with the Mexicans. We've applied for her ID card and hasn't arrived. Well, After this something. ugly exchange, the young woman was charged with negligent driving, failing to indicate when leaving a roundabout, driving with an unrestrained passenger, failing to obey a police direction and not complying with the conditions of her licence. First name? During the LEC hearing, the officer, who has not been identified, admitted he was rude, discourteous and disrespectful. He felt embarrassed but made no effort to apologise. Where does she live? Where does a she final live? report found the officer had faced allegations of rudeness and discourteous conduct in the past. He had certainly not learnt from those previous occasions. He admitted he was angry and lost his cool, and he could see how that could be seen as bullying and intimidating behaviour. The police officer said he was angry that she didn't stop when the police car's flashing lights were activated. He denied his actions were because the women were Muslim, but agreed any witness could view his behaviour as racially motivated and bigoted. Bring no, she stays here, mum stays here. Hey, you're ridiculous. He told commission investigators it was way out of line, it was wrong. I shouldn't have said what I said, and I'm very apologetic. It's not something I would like my mum to go through or a family friend. I don't care. You go back to jail. I don't care. The commission determined yep. both officers unfit to be police officers. New South Wales Police is considering all recommendations in the Conduct Commission report and is still deciding on the future of the two officers.